gas prices are anticipated to stay low for the next couple of years, so what's with Hyundai launching a Toyota Prius fighter now? The reason that 2017 Hyundai Ioniq Hybrid is here, according to Hyundai executives, is that they're playing the long game that downplays regulatory landscapes and fuel prices. Toyota had the same faraway target when it started its hybrid development in a similar climate in the 1990s, and that approach has earned Hyundai a legitimate place at the table today. Ki Sang Lee, who has seen the project through nearly 12 years of development, from the formation of an eco-car powertrain division in 2005 to the first Ionic deliveries to dealerships in the United States this year, said the goal from the outset has been to beat the Prius in fuel economy. And now Hyundai has a model that does exactly that, and here's how, with an EPA combined rating of up to 58 miles per gallon. Of course, that number has to stand up in the real world, and it bears close scrutiny considering the company's 2012 EPA mileage scandal here in the US, where Hyundai was caught inflating its MPG estimates. But where Hyundai's offerings once were heavier and thirstier than those from rivals Toyota or Honda, the company is now fully competitive. The Sonata Hybrid has graduated from clumsy to contender, for example, stacking up well against hybrid versions of the Toyota Camry and the Honda Accord. Just as in the Sonata Hybrid, the Ioniq has an electric motor, generator that's fixed to the transmission's input shaft, a multiplate clutch brings the engine into the mix whenever it's needed. But pretty much.